high definition. From the station on your side, this is Waiting News Online. York County deputies have a murder on their hands. Someone found the body of 48-year-old Quan Yu Trevilian in some tall grass off Clifton's Bluff in the Bruton section of the county. Some reported her missing to James City County Police on Saturday. Investigators say she was wearing jogging clothes, may have been dumped by the side of the road. Now, the crime has left homeowners uneasy. I have small children that play in these woods, and I had no idea. It is, it's very scary to me that something like that could go on in this neighborhood. In most likelihood, uh, the crime was either committed elsewhere or maybe in a vehicle, and the body was dumped there. We're almost certain that the body was there less than 24 hours. There were no signs of decomposition. Anyone who may have seen anything suspicious near the crime scene is asked to call the crime line. And this Norfolk man is in custody in connection with a weekend murder. A closer look now at 34-year-old Rashawn Burke. No word yet on a motive. Investigators say he opened fire inside a Palam Road early Saturday morning. When police arrived, they found 35-year-old Javon Elliott with a gunshot wound. He died on the way to the hospital. And Portsmouth police say a robber burst into a drugstore firing shots. No one was hurt in Friday night's robbery of the CVS on Frederick Boulevard. Police say this is a surveillance photo of the gunman, if we can see it there. We're told he demanded cash when the register wouldn't open. He grabbed a carton of cigarettes and took off. If you have any idea who he might be, call the crime line at 1-888-LOCK-YOU-UP. A Virginia Beach man apparently drowned in a pond behind his house. The wife of 73-year-old Noah Sprouse went looking for him around 9.30 this morning near the Kempsville Greens Golf Course. After finding his shoe floating in the water, she called 911. Emergency and dive team res responders found Sprouse's body. Police don't suspect anything suspicious. Now in high definition, from the station on your side, this is Super Doppler 10 Online. Okay, I want to show you what's going on with our forecast. We've got a heat advisory coming up uh, for Tuesday. This is going to be one of the hottest days that we've experienced uh, so far this summer. It'll likely be into the upper 90s with a heat index into the uh, 105 degree range. Uh, it'll be from 11 o'clock until 8 o'clock. With the real heat of the day, obviously, between around 2 o'clock and 5 o'clock, that's when we can see that 95, 96 to around 100, and that heat index of around 105. Now, it'll back off a bit uh, coming up for Wednesday with highs into the low 90s. Here's what we expect during the day coming up for tomorrow. It's likely to be around 85 degrees, climbing real fast at 9 o'clock in the morning. 85, noon hour, around 93, around 98 degrees, partly cloudy, outside chance of rain in the afternoon hours, and then uh, still 95 at 6 o'clock in the evening. So again, here's what we're looking for uh, for our forecast. 98 degrees, just an outside chance of rain coming up on Tuesday. Perhaps a little better shot at some afternoon rain coming up on Wednesday. Then we cool off slightly for Thursday and then mid-80s for Friday and into the weekend. And stay with Wavy News 10 for all your day's news. Our next newscast is 5 a.m. We'll see you then. Now, high definition from the station on your side. This is Waiting News Online.